So in 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 rare Dave form, and you really really have to be an observer, reader, uh, and longtime Dave follower to to understand what I say in rare Dave form. Because here's the, I'll read the tweet out. Things are changing greatly. Let's just say things changed greatly with raw negotiations from a few weeks ago. And punk is a huge part of the selling point. So what does that mean? It could mean a myriad of things. And of course, there's no follow up from Dave because he that's his tweet. He knows what he's talking about. And it is up to other people to figure it out, I guess. So uh, let's talk about what he may be talking about. And uh, we'll, we'll save maybe the, the, the most newsworthy speculation for the end here. But Paul, throw out one scenario that he may be talking about. Well, I, you know, I, I it's funny because I saw this posted and then someone, you know, reacted very, you know, almost like alarmingly like, oh, no. And I'm like, well, what, you know, what's wrong? I mean, probably just means he's getting they're going to get more money from somebody. And, and my initial thought, honestly, was uh, maybe Fox is back in the game. Um, you know, they gave up SmackDown and uh, maybe they weren't interested in wrestling. But now that Punk is or is a, a factor and he did show some growth for his segment on Friday on Raw or on SmackDown, I should say. So, I mean, I thought, well, maybe it could be that. And then, you know, and then other people have uh, other ideas that they automatically jump to. <laughs> so the last thing that we knew or that we had heard was that FX was kind of the leader in the yeah. clubhouse for for Raw. and it you know a bunch of different reasons why we heard fox was wanted out of the wwe business and we saw uh brandon thurston and others have, have been posting about demographic numbers and mm -hmm. ad rates and pro wrestling is still on the lowest end probably uh when it comes to the hours of television that they act there actually is when it comes to pro wrestling so all of those reasons tell us why fox would possibly want to be out of the wrestling business but there are other companies that are maybe bidding or maybe not interested at the price and may now be interested at the price. And, and you remember what happened the last time these negotiations happened is they lucked into Ronda Rousey and Ronda yeah. Rousey was all of a sudden the person was like, oh, like we, we need to get into this WWE business because Ronda Rousey is a crossover star. Now, <laughs> Ronda Rousey didn't stick around for very long and. I'm I'm sure that WWE knew she wasn't going to stick around for very long, but they utilized that to uh, in their last negotiation. So now you have this CM Punk uh, presence at the last second of negotiations yeah. here. Not not really the last second, because Mark Shapiro said that they could go all the way until you know literally the, the when when they're up to uh, to to come to an agreement. But now CM Punk falls into their lap. Tony Khan fires him and I, you know, rightfully so, but at the same time in a, in a risky scenario, because he allows punk to show up on WWE TV and now WWE has some leverage for their negotiations. So the other story that we had heard is if SmackDown is going to be on USA, well, why does raw need to be on USA? Do they need five more hours or five hours of WWE TV. Now they're going to lose NXT to the CW. So you're subtracting two hours there. So you're, you could gain one more hour if you, if you get raw now would raw be a, I guess uh, an attractive thing for the USA network. Now, if you get, get punk, I don't know. I, it's, it seems to me like it's still overkill. We saw it when both raw and SmackDown were on USA channel for those several years there. And it just seemed like overkill at that point, but I don't know. I, I would think that they would want more than one network in negotiations for their rights. But what do you think about the idea that USA just gets both shows? That's, that's definitely a possibility. And, and obviously, you know, raw has been on USA network for, um, I think 18 years now, um, going, coming up to 19. It was when they moved from spike in 2005, I believe. Um, it might have been 2006 but um yeah i mean that that's possible and you know you put on you replace nxt with smackdown and then you keep raw and all of a sudden you know they're pretty close to the top of the cable uh networks again you know i yeah. think right now they're top five maybe top seven but you know you replace a show that's doing 
seven, six fifty, seven hundred thousand viewers and a point one nine to point two oh to something that's probably gonna do over a million and and maybe over a point four uh for two hours out of your ten hours a week of primetime programming, that's that's really valuable. Um and and you know might help them with their advertising rates. It's too bad that they can't license WWE shows to Netflix like suits. Yeah, uh, they, you, almost they think that, <laughs> you almost think that's coming at some point, you know, like I, I you know, I, the, we have the Peacock and the WWE Network, but man, if you could, if you had could watch old pay-per-views or even heck old seasons of Raw on Netflix, I bet you a lot of people would watch it. <laughs> I think, so. I yeah, think so. You know, um, so, okay. So then now here is the conspiracy theorists favorite selection yeah. which is would warner brothers discovery be interested in wwe content now of course they would but they're also partners with aew at the same time and if aew and, and we i mean and they you know we've been hearing that it was kind of a layup for them to re-up and they haven't done so yet. So there's negotiating going on there, but that is what, you know, that is what the internet, the internet, you know, that is looking for uh, violence. This is the one that they want, but this is also the one that's probably worst, worst of all of them for the pro wrestling industry at large. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And I mean, I think why people would go there and, and especially the wording of Dave's tweet uh, saying that punk was a big part of it. Um, you know, if you think back to uh, earlier this year and the speculation was that the whole reason they got collision was because of CM Punk and that was a WBD call and that they wanted that, you know, they were willing to pay for an extra two hours of programming every week that was going to feature CM Punk. And that also, you know, gave Tony the ability to separate, you know, him from the elite on different shows and, you know, that didn't work out. But, um, you know, if they wanted him bad enough to give, aw two more hours of programming every week who's to say that him being on raw and he signed for raw i mean that that was made clear last night yeah. um and and that may be part of this as well um you know that uh you know that that now maybe ww wbd is interested uh because they clearly like punk uh you know was it zaslov that came up with the one bill phil line um <laughs> david zaslov um <laughs> <laughs> I love I love that David Zaslov, the name David Zaslov can be brought up on pro wrestling television. I, I oh, really yeah. Yeah. Uh, OK, Zaz. so so that is the scary one to me. And yeah. it is also. I think it is, you know, I've been saying this for a long time. In that and, and I'm sure he does, but I've been saying, you know, I hope Tony doesn't have all of his eggs in the WBD basket because it's not necessarily the smartest business to not have alternate scenarios or to just have alternate places where, where maybe you're leveraging the current deal. Um, so, you know, we'll know more about this story, I'm sure, soon enough. Dave is on vacation, and while he's on vacation in Hawaii, surfing, he's probably not surfing, but, you know, he's still creating craziness on the internet so uh so that and is no that observer is that. this week so no we, observer. We have to wait yeah yeah i don't know we'll see it, but it is it would be sort of likely for major news to break while he was away right like that that would wow. that's that's kind of par for the course when when he does go away